Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this lecture, we are going to talk about endotoxins. What are endotoxins? Where do they originate from? What are their effects if endotoxin is released in our body? And the components of endotoxin. Everything will be discussed in this particular lecture. Alright, so let's begin with uh, the endotoxins part. Now, the uh, very first thing that I want to understand about endotoxins. Endotoxins. The very first thing that I want you to know is a simple, a simple uh, mnemonic to understand endotoxin rather, and that is La Co four minus. If you remember this particular term, La Co four minus, then you are going to understand endotoxin quite easily. I am going to connect the dots to what this La Co four minus means for you. But for now on, let's talk about the endotoxin, their structure and their role so if i if i break this down lack o uh, for minus then we'll understand this very clearly endotoxin is a part of bacterial cell part of gram negative bacterial cell so that's why this negative sign is present here that's why this negative sign if you see it's a part of gram negative bacteria and what kind of part actually basically this is a part of outer layer outer layer outer membrane of gram negative bacteria we know that the outer membrane is kind of unique in gram negative bacteria which is not that much present in gram positive bacteria right so in gram negative bacteria this outer membrane that we have that is composed of three important constituents what are the constituents again for you I'll write down the constituents. That is one is lipid A. Then it has core, core protein. And the last one is O antigen. All right. These are the three components of this lipopolysaccharide layer which is the outermost layer of gram-negative bacteria. To tell you what are the components of this gram-negative bacteria outer layer, the first one is lipid A. The second one is core region, core sugar component. And the third one is antigen O or O antigen. Okay, O antigen. These are the three components of lipopolysaccharide, lipopolysaccharide layer of gram-negative bacteria. And this lipopolysaccharide layer of gram-negative bacteria is actually known as endotoxin. Endotoxin. Remember that. Okay. This is endotoxin. Now, apart from this LPS or lipopolysaccharide, there is another example of endotoxin found known as lipo oligosaccharide which are specifically released by gram negative coccus generally coccus are gram positive streptococcus staphylococcus are gram positive but there are few gram negative coccus and they are deadly as hell example of such kind of gram negative coccus uh, if you recall and that is gonococcus so gonococcus cause Neisseria gonorrhoeae. Okay, they have lipo oligosaccharide layer, which has very similar structure to that of lipo polysaccharide layer. Both behave like endotoxins. So these are the two common examples of endotoxins that we know. Now remember, I told you that you need to remember LACO4 minus in order to understand and remember the properties of endotoxin because why because see this LACO LACO is going to give you an idea about the component of lipopolysaccharide now as this name suggests lipopolysaccharide lipo means it has lipid unit in it it has lipid unit in it and the lipid unit is lipid a part of the LPS why polysaccharide because it has polysaccharide multiple sugar units in it core sugar unit that is a part of polysaccharide. So this LPS component majorly made with sugar and lipid molecules connected together. And it has some, portent, uh, some portion of the protein components attached but majorly it is lipid and sugar. 
that is the constituent of a lipopolysaccharide layer and here why i told you to understand lacuo l for lipid a okay la la means lipid a c for core and uh, core sugar component and o for o antigen so that's why laco la for lipid a c for core sugar o for o antigen and what do we mean by four minus minus means this is predominant in gram negative bacteria and why four because the lps layer of bacteria is detected by remember it is detected by tlr4 toll like receptor 4 so basically toll like receptor 4 are the receptors these receptors are very key for our immune system cells to detect antigens coming from the various origin or exogenous origins so we know that the tlr4 is the particular receptor which is going to detect the lps antigen there are different there are different tlr to detect flagellin protein as an antigen but here tlr4 detects lps as an antigen that's why laco4 minus okay now the question is what this uh, lps looks like okay in very simple terms i'm not going to draw the exact picture in here but to give you an idea the three separate components lipid a core sugar and o antigen it looks something like this let's say this is a lipid structures if i draw so something like this a lipid structure and on top of which we have this sugar moieties connected to it okay and then at the end outside then we have this so this is this is if i if i write it down then this is lipid a this, this is core sugar or oligosaccharide part and this is a o antigen part now among these three separate part of uh, endotoxin or LPS layer, the one that is involved in the process of immunogenicity or eliciting an immune response is this lipid A part. This is the one which is mostly virulent. This is the virulent part. Okay. This is the most virulent part that are involved in the process of infection or causing the damaging impact on the host body or the host cell okay among these three o antigen sugar and uh, this lipid a lipid a is the most virulent one among these three okay and when the lipid a is present that is going to prove the presence of lps and thus the body will react against it so how exactly the body react against this uh, lipopolysaccharide or release of lipopolysaccharide this is something that you need to understand so the thing is uh, when the bacteria is living a bacteria is healthy healthy and living bacteria uh, has nothing to do with release of lipopolysaccharide because let's imagine this blue color this is the portion of lipopolysaccharide layer which is almost outermost layer of gram negative bacteria this for releasing this lps layer they need to be killed if this bacteria is killed then the dead parts and components will have this LPS along with other debris of bacterial structures. So now once they have this lipopolysaccharide layer or LPS release, then there are this LPS binding protein. So LPS binding protein, particular structures that binds to LPS, it will interact to this LPS. And this LPS binding protein upon interacting to the LPS now in interacts to the immune system cells and this immune system cell is going to fight against the release of the lps because the moment lps is released it is detected by toll like receptor 4 and this toll like receptor 4 in our body uh, my, I mean, the, the immune system cells they carry this toll like receptor 4 they bind to the uh, to this lps and then they are going to elicit the immune response they are going to elicit the immune response here okay immune response and when i say immune response release of massive amount of lps to the body to tissues any part of the tissue of the body or in the bloodstream that causes a massive immune response and this immune response is so huge that usually cause primarily started with inflammatory response and this response is not localized it is systemic inflammatory response Okay, 
systemic inflammatory response is caused and this systemic inflammatory response means the response started from the point of entry of LPS but slowly progressed throughout the body and as it progressed throughout the body it causes dangerous conditions to our blood vessels the blood vessel wall becomes very thin right the cells like erythrocytes and many other even the bigger cells of then also can start to move out from the blood vessel to the neighboring tissue that makes the area very inflamed it has redness swelling all the characteristics of inflammation pain and that starts with huge fever very high very high fever and slowly if this is not prevented with passing time of 60 hours 12 hours 24 hours the situation gets even worse and that can lead to septic shock and the septic shock is the condition where vital organs of our body like liver kidney lungs heart stop functioning they fail to work properly due to the systemic inflammatory response throughout the body with very high amount of all the anaphylatoxins that are released throughout the body and the anaphylaxis is huge and that can cause uh, the body to stall its work the, the important organs to stall the job and at this particular moment what happens is this results in disseminated intravascular coagulation and that leads to multiple organ failure and that leads to death this is the dangerous effect this is the dangerous effect of endotoxin in our body so if you consider why endotoxin is so much important to understand and discuss about because the release of this endotoxin can trigger a, a huge array of immune response your own cells will fight against your own tissue and they can damage this this is a big issue big problem and uh, to counter this problem uh, you know how to know whether we have any endotoxin component in our body can we find it out the answer is yes we have an approach to find it out and that is known as a uh, lal assay limulus amivocyte uh, lysate assay lal assay is the only technique with which we can detect the presence of endotoxins in our body in our blood okay so it is a particular blood derived from the limulus that is uh, you know the so it is derived from the limulus and we use lal assay to detect the presence of lps in our body so with this we can detect endotoxins and once we detect the endotoxins we can prevent the property of uh, high fever septic shock and disseminated intravascular coagulation so the only approach that you should take when whenever we find that there's some sort of endotoxins ingested to the body rushing to the neighboring hospital and without a proper attendance and, and proper treatment the patient will deteriorate and ultimately will die okay now if you tell me uh, this is why endotoxin studying endotoxin is very important although there are few occasions where it is generally ingested in the blood and all but still it's very very important for you to understand this okay so among these three i already mentioned the role of endotoxins i mentioned what is endotoxin what are the components and how it works i believe we have a clear idea now and remember laco 4 minus to remember the important properties of endotoxins if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye